Let's move on to Ash Run. <laughs> uh, another one trained by Kieran Matt and Dave Eusis. Kieran McAvoy is, uh, is riding. This is a cool story. Ash Run obviously uh, had a, quite a bad tendon inju- injury. The horse has only had three runs since it last ran in the Melbourne Cup in 2020. I, I think that's a pretty cool horse. It is very cool. Um, I saw him up at uh, Mara and Eustace's stable in 2021. Uh, May 2021, and he was still recovering from that tendon, and they didn't know if they'd ever get him back. And I don't think they t- thought that if they did get him back, it'd be three years later, and he wouldn't have raced for over a thousand days. But um, it's been a, a sensational story, and he's had a, a great preparation coming back. Um, Definitely, you know, he's he's stepped up at every run. Um, that Bar Cummings effort was very, very good um, from an impossible position, and and the Geelong Cup run was good. So look, I probably have to take him on, but I also have him right on the cusp. Um, Karen McAvoy, uh, unbelievably, in Melbourne Cups, I think there's only two times that he's ridden a, a non Godolphin horse from like 14 attempts where he's finished outside the top 10. So if you are playing on McAvoy, I think uh, Lucia Valentina was one, and uh, the Richard Pegum horse, uh, Moden was, uh, not Moden, um, Illo. No, anyway, one of those horses was another. But really, he's got a very good record if you are a top 10 player and you want to be on, uh, on, on Karen McAvoy. Ashron might be a horse to do that. Just another that traded short price in the Geelong Cup where they all crossed the line as one. Um, I think he got to his seventy there in the, the Geelong Cup. I can't have him. I'm penning that Geelong Cup form, but you make some good points about Karen McAvoy and he stays. So he's one for the 6th to 12th. Shane, right. anything? Yeah, don't disagree. Nothing else I can add there. It's, it's going to be around that top 12. Chances are you're about to lose. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.